Hi, it's DM. I hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Toronto and um, it is a little long weekend. Uh, long weekend or weekday. I don't know if there's a difference anymore with all that's going on. But um, anyways, I just wanted to um, come on and show you a few things like um, in my last video about the Concord and Ninth Everyday purses, I forgot to show you my strawberry shortcake purse that I made. And it's like, how can I forget? Because like, I love <laughs> strawberry shortcake so much. And um, so here it is. Um, the images that you see are, it's a paper that I made myself. And then um, I gave it a strawberry charm and this pink tassel. And this is what it looks like. And then on the inside, um, let me open it up. I also have been working on these um, little backpacks. So, um, like this is a matching backpack using that same paper that I made. And uh, when you open it up, like there's um, little glasses, uh, apple, pencil notebook and this is actually a spellbinders die that came out last year and it's like from their die of the month membership and i did look online and it's still available online so i'll put a link in the description box if you're still interested and um it comes with like it's so cute to work with like you can use your scraps to make um these little backpacks because they're so tiny and it comes with like these um, pieces to make the buckle and um, zipper. So really cute. And then um, while we're at it, I wanted to show you the other um, backpacks that I made. Also because um, like next week is back to school for a lot of the kids as, or you know, some kids are already, you know, back in school depending on where you live. So here's another one. And again, it was just made using like scrap pieces of paper. And I thought it's so fun. Um, they actually come with like two sayings. This is a you rule. And then the other saying was um, great job. And I actually like glued those uh, die cut pieces in there because I just didn't want them to fall out. But you could, you know, make them so that they're interactive and the recipient could take them out because I think these would make really great um, gifts for teachers or even like students or anybody really. And then you can just, you know, dress them up in different styles, your favorite papers. Um, this is what this plaid paper is like one of my favorites. And I really like how I gave it like a magnetic closure because then you can like play with it. And then this is the last one. Really fun to play with. And then, um, well, today I wanted to um, show you this mini album that I've been working on for like a couple months now. Um, and it is a uh, strawberry shortcake theme because today is Strawberry Shortcake Day. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so a lot of my friends know that um, I, like, besides crafting, I really love Strawberry Shortcake and, um, like, I actually collect the dolls and toys as well, like the vintage ones. And um, I have an Instagram account, um, you know, about Strawberry Shortcake, if you're interested. It's called at, well, it's um, at... I heart strawberry shortcake um, is the handle and uh, so back to the book here so this book um, this mini album was the second you know mini album that I made so I followed this tutorial by the quiet uh, cat the quiet cat paper company and I'll put a link to um, her tutorial in the description box below but she made this stunning like Christmas themed um, mini album and when I saw it, I knew like I wanted to try it myself because it was like so interactive and fun. And I really like that about the book. So for my book cover, um, it was wrapped in chipboard and then I gave it a like shaker there using a really cute strawberry shortcake image. And then I added some paper flowers from Recollections that you can get at Michael's. And the strawberry paper was one that I made. 
and um, the book measures six and a half inches by nine inches and um, the spine is two and a half inches uh, thick and then um, for the spine here I made this tassel from like you know just beads and charms that I have and I added this um like vintage strawberry shortcake charm that I have and then this is um, a ladybug uh, cabochon that I just added to this um, uh, bale. And then on the back, I just fussy cut some like cute images of like strawberry shortcake waving. And it looks like she's waving to her friends who are in a hot air balloon. Okay, and so um, when you open up the book, like on the inside cover, this is what took me so long because I couldn't like decide what to um, put here. Um, so over here I have this little image and then if there's a tab here, so if you pull the tab, the image changes. Um, so this was actually made using the uh, Lan Fan picture changer die, which I had for some like quite some time now and I finally got around to like using it. It comes with all these pieces and um, there's also even a add-on set um, or add-on piece if you wanted to make your um, like card more fancy. So that's that and it's so fun and it was like so easy to put together so I might I must like try that some more with other um, things. And then over here, there's like these uh, two pockets and in the first pocket is just a picture of a strawberry shortcake rag doll um, that I fussy cut out. And the rag dolls from the Hello Kitty collaboration. And um, like I made this in a strawberry shortcake theme, but imagine it in, you know, your favorite papers or uh, themes that you really love like it'd be really cute so um, here's a die cut uh, frame and picture in this pocket and then the images on the uh, pockets are like uh, papers that I made myself and over here on this flap is another um, frame I really love that frame and um, it's got this dream word that I die cut out because there's an image of apricot looking at a rainbow and then when you open up the flap um, there's a pocket and um, inside is just this little you know frame that I die cut out and then this flap is um, magnetic and then this paper is like some from some uh, stationery that I have and then on this side, um, I put these two TV embellishments. And these TVs were actually made using a die from AliExpress. And I did make it um, magnetic so that you can remove it. The only problem was like, I should have added another um, magnet on the bottom, but instead I just used like a, a glue dot on the back there. So it, and then they are removable and this one's removable as well. And then the mini album has these um, side pocket inserts and um, like for photo mats. So that's what I used it for. And here I have like an image of the villains of Strawberry Land, the purple pie men and sour grapes and their pets. Um, like I'm sure you could put other things in these um, side pockets but I didn't want my book to be too chunky because it's already <laughs> thick as it is and then on this side is a policy envelope held um, with a magnet and um, this is what it looks like and then inside the policy envelope um, I put this little um, heart embellishment that I made uh, using like paper that I made and um, this is like a vellum uh, paper at the back and I backed it with um, acetate just to make it sturdy and added this little uh, strawberry charm on the bottom and then it just goes back in and then I also like gave this a magnetic closure 
I'm obsessed with those magnets. <laughs> and then on this side, um, we have a horizontal pocket with an image that um, has been framed with the scallop die cut that I have, um, dyed that I have in my collection. And inside, I just added a tag. And this background piece was actually made from washi tape, like strawberry shortcake washi tape from the Hello Kitty um, strawberry shortcake collaboration. And um, I added this image that I cut out with my silhouette and this uh, Queen and Company bow that's like my favorite bow. It's got nice stitching details on it. Oh, and then this is another um, insert with a really cute image of Strawberry Shortcake and Cherry Cuddler. And then on this side, um, there's this tag that I put here and um, made using various dyes. And a lot of the images in this um, book are from a like a, a day at a time calendar. This is what it looks like if you're wondering. And there's like so many images in here that I just used um, like cut out. And I did get that from a friend. And um, on the back here, there's another like tag that I backed it with. And um, it's got like this magnetic closure. And then here I um, put this um, sentiment that says, enjoy the little things in this pink um, foil cardstock. And I added these strawberry die cuts and uh, vines. And then this image is actually a um, it's removable because I added a magnet on the back as well and it was cut out using um, dies I have in my collection as well and I like that it's removable because like when I get bored I can just um, switch it out with something else because I have like commitment issues <laughs> And then on this side, um, we have another image here that I framed uh, using a Lawn Fawn uh, stitch square die that I have. And um, the flap's got like uh, magnets on it as well. And when you open it up in the center here, there's a huge like vellum pocket. Um, and inside is this image um, that I printed out and then used a die that I cut out. And I love how that turned out it and then you know putting a vellum pocket um like the um you can like see the image and then on the side here um both sides i added like um little i guess you can call them like medallions and again they're like removable i just um cut out like images with dies that i have and then I have like a whole bunch of like doily type dies in my collection and I use those to cut out like different ones. And again, you know, the magnet makes it like so fun and you can like switch it up. Really fun, like if you ever get bored and you want to add something else because there are many times where like I've made um, things and then I was like, oh, I wish I could put something else there instead. So I think the magnets are like a the perfect solution. And then um, here there's another insert. So cute. Um, like strawberry shortcake, there's like millions of like cute images over the years and then on this side is um there's a belly band here and i um decorated it with you know papers that i made as well and then it's holding this little shaker and this is actually a greeting card that a uh, very dear friend of mine sent to me and um he like took pictures of his doll and uh, made greeting cards out of him so cute and this is another way to like, you know, um, I guess repurpose greeting cards. And um, like I could have also fussy cut strawberry shortcake and made it like a, you know, strawberry shortcake shaped one. Um, but I kept it like this because like there's a nice message inside and I just wanted to keep that in case, you know, I wanted to cut it out and, you know, read it again. <laughs> and um, for this, I added like these um, 
you know, colorful sequins. And then I added this uh, strawberry sticker that I got from Michael's that I've been hoarding for years. And it's about time that I start using everything because, you know, it's more enjoyable when you actually get to use it and make something out of it. And then on this side, oh yeah, I forgot to say, this was made um, using my fuse tool, the shaker. And then on this side is a window um, with an acetate piece so that you can look through the window. And um, I also, um, like in the tutorial, the lady shows you how to make a window. And then I also added like these strawberry vines um, to it because this is a strawberry shortcake theme. And then um, this does open up. And then on the back of the window, I use this um, this um, gingham uh, paper that you see is actually like vintage strawberry shortcake fabric that I uh, photocopied and then just, you know, use that to cut up. Uh, and then on this side, I have this image and it's from a vintage like ad that I really love. And it's also like this image is also on a uh, strawberry shortcake bookcase. So cute. And then um, I put the sentiment, um, life can be a berry because that's one of the strawberry shortcake sayings. I love that. And um, I also added like pink polka dotted clouds because why not? <laughs> Plus I needed to break up the um, pink and uh, reds on this page. And um, here's another photo mat with Strawberry Shortcake and our friends. Really cute. Oopsies. And then that just goes back in. And then um, we're almost done. Like on this side, there's like these two vertical pockets and it just holds like all these um, images that I uh, like die cut out with different um, like tag tags and frames that I have and then here is another um, like heart embellishment that I made um, and the die is um, from Aliexpress if you're wondering and I added this little bow charm to the bottom because it's so fun to add like little charms to your embellishments and this is just another one like a primitive heart I really love that set. Oh yeah, and then here's another image of um, straw. Sorry, it's a cherry cuddler and her pet gooseberry, and it's cut out with this um, heart scallop heart die from Lan Fun. And then on the last page here, we have like a waterfall. And it's held together with this gingham ribbon. And um, over here, I just added um, images that I um, took of my dolls. I had these like printed at Costco. This is when the giant rubber ducky came to Toronto. <laughs> and um, these were pictures um, that I took for a photo contest for the Strawberry Shortcake Convention, which is usually held in Cleveland. And it was really fun taking these pictures. That's a butter cookie. And this is like a for a slumber um, party theme. And I had such great memories going to the conventions. I hope they really come back. And that's an image um, of like these little Fisher Price looking um strawberry <laughs> looking uh strawberry shortcake people that uh, was made by sarah drescher a really talented artist okay and then it just closes up but um i did make this again like in strawberry shortcake theme but imagine you know making it in a theme that you really love and i do plan to like do other themes because it was such a fun you know book to make and um really cute 
So um, that is my project share for today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'd be happy to answer them. I hope you enjoy the rest of your long weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.